Hey everyone, my name is Natalie Carson and I'm so excited because today we're gonna go over some essential oils for our children. So, uh, you know, kids have all the things adults have, right? Maybe issues with sleep or stress. Uh, they need their little immune systems boosted. Um, they maybe have growing pains or, or they got tummy issues. And we gotta make sure that our kids are staying healthy with proper nutrition as well. So. Uh, my name, again, Natalie Carson. I've been sharing doTERRA essential oils for almost six years now, and I'm so grateful uh, to have been able to help so many people through everything you can pretty much imagine. And um, essential oils are safe, they are effective, and they are extremely affordable. And um, I'm a mom. I've got three teenagers, and I've been using essential oils on my kids, you know, for the past six years. And um, one of my favorite stories, or a couple of my stories where all my kids have used the oils, but one was my son, uh, Jeffrey, he would always get car sick. And, you know, the our family lives in Utah, so we go up to a Utah and visit, and it's a pretty straight drive, but there's some drives through the canyon, right, where you're going kind of up and down, and you're starting to feel that, like, woozy, icky feeling, and so he would always get car sick. And when I first got started using essential oils, he's like, Mom, I feel like I'm going to throw up, you know, and in the past, I was like, roll down the window, drink some water, take some deep breaths, you know? And so when I got the oils, I was like, oh my gosh, I learned that peppermint, peppermint's going to help with nauseousness. And so I have this little essential oil app and I looked it up and I'm like nauseousness and it said peppermint. So I literally took the bottle of peppermint. I said, it just says to just breathe it out of the bottle. And I just handed it back to him and I'm like, take some deep breaths. So he was breathing it in and said, breathe it, take deep breaths for about a minute. And then he just hands me back the bottle. He's like, okay, I'm good. And I was like, what? He's like, here, mom, I'm good. You, you, can, you can have the oil back. And I'm like, you don't feel nauseous anymore? He's like, no. I'm like, are you serious? And he's like, yes. I'm like, come on, really? He's like, mom, I don't feel sick anymore. I'm like, oh my gosh, these oils work. And that's just one story that I love to share because it's just how many of you guys out there have kids that are nauseous and you as a mom want to feel empowered you know, right away. You're like, I, I want to feel empowered right now. And so that's what I love to do is just help moms feel empowered. Um, another situation actually just yesterday, my daughter who's 15 got into skateboarding and she's like, I'm going to go, you know, she's going to skateboarding. And so literally she's skate, she's pretty good. You know, she's not great, but she was just out literally in front of our house and she was just going off the curb and biffed it and landed on her hands. She had like road rash on her hands and her knee. And right away, I knew exactly what essential oils to use. And I was able to make an owie spray for her um, with just a little bit of lavender because lavender is really good for owies and it also helps the skin to heal. It takes away pain. A little bit of uh, tea tree because tea tree is antifungal and antibacterial. Um, and then a little bit of frankincense. And I, and I um, frankincense is good for cellular health and skin repair. And so I was able to make this little owie spray for her, completely non-toxic, literally pennies to make this owie spray. And I spritzed it on her owies and it immediately took away the pain. I knew that it was cleaning it out naturally. And um, she felt better. I put Band-Aids on it and, and that frankincense and lavender just helped the skin to heal better. And she's like, thanks mom. And so just having these uh, uh, tools on hand are just so powerful and wonderful. So um, I'm super excited you guys are gonna watch this. I wanted to share a couple of my stories. I'm gonna, I can share stories all day long with my kiddos, but um, I really wish that I, I had these when they were even littler. And so if anybody out there has little kiddos, uh, you're in luck because you're going to be able to learn about these awesome tools for your family. And us as moms want to be empowered in our own home right now, right? And so I love to know that like when, when something happens, I literally turn to my essential oils. And I, um, as long as you have a box of oils and a book, uh, you're good to go. <laughs> and, um, and, and anybody that wants to get started with essential oils, I actually will give you a book. It's called the Oil Magic Book. And it's like your little essential oil Bible. That way you're going to feel empowered in your own home um, using natural solutions for your family. So I've got a screen share to share here. Let me, I'm going to play it, but this is, uh, how do I do this? Let's see. Okay. I think, I think I've got it. <laughs> Here we go. So this is essential oils for children. And I love, love, love that our kids can turn to these natural solutions. Um, now, you know, instead of some of the alternatives and, and some of the alternatives are great. Um, but unfortunately they come with some side effects, um, and they can even come with addictions as well. Um, so my son is walking in right now. What do you need, honey? Oh, hi, honey. I love you. Homeschool. Isn't it fun, guys? <laughs> 
All righty. So um, I love that, we, you know, my kids can turn to this. Uh, my son, Eddie, just walked in the door right now. And, you know, something that I have that, um, that I think I've passed on to his, him is some anxiousness. <laughs> and so there's times when literally one of the stories for him, uh, if you want to just come say hi really quick, come say, just peek your head in, just say hi. Hello. That's Eddie. He's my, my junior in high school. And, um, you know, one of the things like Eddie and I, we both get super anxious. And, uh, you know, one time Eddie was going to write a paper and was frustrated and couldn't focus. I was like, wait, there's this new oil that's going to help with focus. And it's called adaptive. And, you know, we were able to just put that drop in his hands and he rubbed his hands together and could take some deep inhalations and it would get up into his brain and help with focus. And uh, he was able to write his paper. Don't you remember that, Eddie? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was cool. And, and so we've used it a lot and I love just knowing that my kids can, can turn to this natural things uh, instead of um, some of the alternatives that, that are expensive that can have some side effects as well. So yes, essential oils are safe for children. Uh, they are very, very effective. Um, they've been used for thousands of years. This goes back to biblical times. Essential oils are mentioned in the Bible. Uh, they're natural and they're safe when used properly. And the essential oils that I highly encourage um, and recommend are doTERRA uh, because of the strict testing and the safety process that these oils go through. So these are actual medical grade essential oils. And there are a lot um, of essential oils out in the world. And it's really awesome because they're getting more and more popular and people are learning about them. But unfortunately, a lot of those oils are either synthetic or they have um, unnatural ingredients in them that are toxic that can actually cause more problems than benefits. And so I only recommend doTERRA because of the strict testing um, and also they're being used by doctors in hospitals. So that is really awesome that, you know, you're using medical grade essential oils that are actually going to help with physical health as well as emotional health. Um, so general safety guidelines, um, on the side of the essential oil bottles, um, I'm going to grab a bottle really quick here. Uh, let's see. All right, so um, I just wanted to share with you that um, on the bottle right here, I don't know if you can see this, but um, on when you're looking at the bottle, Underneath right here, um, there's in the ingredients. So this is a blend. So the only thing that's in here is the uh, pure essential oil, but um, it doesn't have any supplement facts on it. So you would not ingest this essential oil or this blend because there are no supplement facts on it. Now, some of our essential oils you can ingest. And so what you would do is you would look for the supplement facts. So if you can see the supplement fact bottle right here, if you see supplement facts, that means you can ingest I would only recommend doTERRA and again, look for the supplement facts and on the bottom of the bottle, you would want to ingest it before that five years is up. So there is a shelf life of five years on the doTERRA essential oils. So um, make sure you do not ingest any essential oils unless you see supplement facts and I would only recommend the doTERRA brand. And if you're not comfortable, don't ingest them at all because you don't have to ingest them at all to get them in. You can breathe them in or you can put them on your skin. Um, also make sure that you never put essential oils in your eyes, in your ears, or up your nose. So that's really important that you don't uh, do it in those places because we never want to do that. And um, one drop is a dose. And so these are very, very concentrated. It's recommended that you don't ingest over 24 drops in one hour. I'm sorry, in one day. So to, not more than 24 drops in a day. And so really one drop is a dose. And it's, I'm going to have a little guide here to show you because you're going to want to dilute it for babies. And no one under seven years old should ingest essential oils. So only, um, I would say, seven and older in very, very small quantities. And make sure that you connect with me if you're, you know, confused on these general safety guidelines, because um, a big, big goal here is that we help you use them safely and effectively um, and to make sure that you're uh, using them correctly as well. So here's some safety tip doses and dilution. So aromatic, you know, we can all use it aromatically. Um, and aromatically is literally just breathing it right out of the bottle just like that. Um, aromatically is also with a diffuser. I, my diffusers, I just packed up my diffuser, but I um, was teaching a class, but um, it, you could put it in a diffuser and you could diffuse essential oils in your child's room, in your infant's room, and um, they could just be breathing that in, no problem. Um, internally, uh, it's recommended that um, you do two to four drops um, is a dose. I mean, I usually only do one 
or two um, in a 24 hour max. Again, don't go over 24 drops. For a child, um, internally, it says one to two. Now, again, you're going to want to make sure that the child is over seven years old if they were to ingest essential oils. And um, the ideal amount for that seven years or older would be only one drop to two drops and just don't exceed more than 12 drops in a day. Um, all righty, and uh, there's some other really great guidelines here as well, and you can go ahead and screenshot this and um, be able to use it for the future. All righty, so safety tips. So avoid, like I said, sensitive areas. Um, don't put it in the eyes, and um, the skin around the eyes is also really, really sensitive. So you're gonna wanna make sure you don't get it too close to the eyes. Broken or damaged skin, so if it's a uh, like a cut, you wouldn't wanna put essential oils in a cut. Um, and again, don't put it in your inner nose or in your ears. Now, my daughter did have road rash, so I was able to dilute that and make an owie spray for her, uh, which was really, really great. And I can give you the recipes for owie sprays if you guys are interested in that. Um, but it was with uh, some carrier oil, and then again, it was the frankincense. It was the um, tea tree oil and the lavender. And I only put about five drops of each in a little spray bottle. And then I filled up the rest of the spray bottle with a fractionated coconut oil. And I was able to spritz that on and, and just help with that pain. But again, it wasn't a big gaping uh, wound. So I just don't recommend that you do that. Um, <clears throat> Some essential oils have citrus in them. Now, citrus essential oils are photosensitive, which means if you were to uh, put lemon juice on your wrist and go lay outside that the sun, it magnifies the sun and it could burn your wrist where that lemon juice is. So the same thing is with, uh, with citrus essential oils. Do you guys remember? I don't know how old you are. I might be aging myself here. But when I was a, a teen, I would I would put like a little bit of lemon juice in my hair and then like go lay out and just get like these highlights. Um, and that's just because it magnifies the sun. Did anybody else do that or is it just me? <laughs> so <clears throat> you're going to want to um, make sure if you are using blends with citrus oils that you stay out of the sun for up to 12 hours after applying the product. So um, avoid sunlight, avoid UV rays for up to 12 hours after applying the product. And on the side of the bottles, it will tell you if you need to do that. And so when you get your doTERRA oils, you would just look on the side right here, like this one, I see supplement facts, I can ingest that. And then right underneath, it's gonna say, um, stay out of the sun. Literally, this avoid sunlight or UV rays for up to 12 hours after applying product with sunlight sensitivity warning. So look for those warnings on the side of your bottles, um, look at those labels, and you should be able to see all of that. And um, safety's tip, you know, for safe storage, just keep out of the reach of children. I would keep them up on a higher shelf. Um, one drop is a dose. You know, in our lemon essential oil bottle, it takes about 50 plus lemons to fill up a 15 milliliter bottle this size. And so um, it's very, very, very concentrated. So we just recommend that you, you know, put them up high on a shelf so your kiddos can't get them uh, because safety is definitely key. And there are such fun ways to use essential oils with your children. You guys can put them in smoothies. You can cook with them. You can um, put it in your breakfast food, like in, in oatmeal or hot cocoa. You can do a little bit of like a peppermint hot cocoa. Um, DIY, there's crafts, jewelry. You can make your own soaps. You can do your own like bath salts or fizzy, fizzy bombs with essential oils. So there's so many really fun things that we can do with essential oils with our kids. You guys, I, I invite you to explore. Uh, there's a really fun recipe on how to make play-doh so um, I'll I will put that recipe below this so you can kind of go see how how you would make uh, play-doh and I'll also put the owie spray recipe because you might want that and um, I'm also gonna attach an immune bomb recipe as well because it's really important that our kids keep their immune systems boosted all right so we're gonna dive really quick into the kid themed oil so um, I love it, love, love it. You know, doTERRA has these bottles just like this um, that is completely and 100% pure essential oil that's not diluted. And so sometimes even one drop of this oil can cause a little bit of sensitivity for our kiddos. And so what I love that doTERRA's done is they've actually created an entire kid line of essential oils with roller bottles like this that's a little bit pre-diluted with a carrier oil and, and with the essential oil, but with the carrier oil so it's safer to put on our children topically. And um, they can also use it aromatically by breathing it in. So we're going to talk about our mind 
So we're gonna talk about our heart, and then we're gonna talk about our physical body and just different essential oil blends you can use on your kiddos that help. So this first blend is um, called Thinker. Now you see the brain right here, right? The little brain. There's two essential oils um, that are gonna help with the brain with our kids line. So this one's Calmer. Um, this is a blend of calming essential oils. It's great for helping with sleep. So if you've got a kiddo that's um, having a difficult time getting to sleep, maybe their head is spinning, um, really look into getting the Calmer Restful Blend. It promotes a positive mood, um, a stress-free mood, and it provides soothing and relaxing feelings throughout the body. So I love this Calmer. And what's really cool is they come with these really neat little flashcards. So I have to share these flashcards with you because our kids can learn to self-soothe. So here's this cute little kids, uh, little kids deck. And you see the purple here. And then your kiddo would literally go um, to the little purple card here. So you can see it right here is our little purple card. And then it would flip to the back and literally they can read it. So you can see right here this cute little card. And it says, when it's bedtime, roll calmer onto the bottoms of your feet and, and onto your wrist and climb into bed and take a deep breath and let your mind rest. How cool is that? It's gonna show the kids where to put it. And as it says right here, bottoms of the feet and on the wrist, so you moms are like, what the heck does that mean? Well, you would put it on the bottoms of the feet because the bottoms of the feet is going to allow these essential oils to get up into our bloodstream, and then the blood is going to carry it to all the cells of the body. So it's really amazing what these essential oils can do. And the, another reason why they said wrist is because a great place to put the essential oils is pulse points. You would do wrist, you could do temples, you could do right here, you could do the back of the neck. So wherever you would take your pulse, this is a really good way to where a uh, place to put the essential oils. Those are going to get into the bloodstream. So it's really awesome, awesome stuff. All right, this next one's called Thinker. Now, this is a blend of essential oils that's going to help with focus. So it's going to help prevent mental distraction. It instills a sense of alertness and focus, and it helps reduce feelings of mental stress. So this is a great essential oil to have on hand. Um, and then what's going to happen? You're going to look at the little yellow card. And here's our little thinker. It is our thinker focused blend. And their little kids are going to read on the back when it's time to get creative and focus, roll thinker onto the back of your neck to support your mind and to enhance learning. So again, your kids can know to go to these specific essential oils. And you guys, there's so much science behind why these are working. And especially with thinker, you know, maybe put it on the back of your neck because that's close to that brain stem. It's gonna, and the essential oils actually get up into the brain and can actually help with focus and breathing them in can help with that as well. All right, so let's talk about our heart. Let's talk about that, our little heart, our, our little spirit, right? Um, our heart, and these. this is gonna be a little bit more of emotional oil. So the two oils we talked about um, were gonna help with sleep and help with thinking. Yeah, so help the brain calm down with sleep and help the brain focus with that thinker blend. But now we're gonna talk a little bit more about some emotional health. So brave. Um, this is the Courage Blend. So this is going to energize and invigorate the senses. It supports a positive mood by helping to manage feelings of occasional stress or anxiousness, and it promotes feelings of confidence, courage, and belief in oneself. So now we're going to look for the little orange card, our little Courage Blend here. And it says, see that little Courage Blend, boop, brave. Before new or different situations, or just to start your day, roll brave onto your tummy or bottoms of feet for a boost of courage and confidence. I absolutely love that we have these great tools. And this one's called Steady. So this is our grounding blend. So a lot of the essential oils that are in our grounding blend are going to be roots and trees because they're very grounding and rooting. Um, and when we uh, take these essential oils from a root or a tree, um, that that um, essential oil is the lifeblood of the tree. It's also the immune system for the tree or the plant. So we're actually using the life energy of that tree or a plant and we're using it on us and it can have these amazing benefits. So this is good for a kid that just needs to feel grounded. So if you're kind of like, ah, like all over the place, this is gonna help root and ground you. So here's our little cute little green card. And it says, for those times when you feel nervous or anxious, rub steady onto your neck and wrist to calm and comfort your emotions. So pretty cool stuff here that we've got this courage blend and this grounding blend for our kiddos. 
And the third category is our overall body. Now kids have, you know, immune, they got to boost their little immune system. They may have tummy issues and we all want to make sure our kids' immune systems are boosted. So we're going to go over those top three oils. So this next one is called Stronger. This is a protective blend. So this is going to help boost your child's immune system. But not only can it do that, it can promote clear and healthy looking skin. It's a comforting to occasional skin irritations. It soothes the emotions during times of distress and it can promote feelings of wellness and vitality. So when your child looks at the red, they're going to match it to our red card here. Here's our little stronger and on the back, what does it say? Let's see, use stronger on the back of your neck or bottoms of your feet for an added boost for protection when you're not feeling your best. So there's that card right there. And um, you can see the little, the little guy on here, this little body and you can see the little body on the, on the little stronger thing. So our kids can look for that symbol or look for that color. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, now, Rescuer, this is for growing pains. This is when your kid gets a headache or they've got growing pains or maybe they're in sports and they strained a muscle. So this one is called Rescuer. This is a soothing blend and this helps reduce feelings of tension. It's comforting and soothing to the skin. It supports feelings of vitality and comfort. And so uh, you're going to look at this little Rescuer. It says, after running, jumping, and playing, rub Rescuer onto your legs, feet, or back to soothe your active body. So there's that little rescuer card right there. And one last kid oil is Tamer. Now this is a newer essential oil. Um, this is for tummy troubles. So if your kiddo has tummy issues, like, oh, my tummy hurts, mom, um, you're going to keep Tamer on your hands, um, on hand, in your purse, briefcase, or your child's backpack. You would take on a road trip to ease the effects of motion sickness, and you can apply it to the stomach or bottoms of the feet after eating a large meal. So this is when they have a tummy issue, they would roll it directly on their tummy. So these are just some of the kid essential oils and you can actually get these. They come in a little, a little kid's kit um, right here where you can see all of the different essential oils on the back. Um, and so you can get that, that kid's kit. And what's really cool about this is not only does it come with these really neat flashcards, but it also comes with this cute little, um, little little i guess carrier here and these little carabiners so you can put the little carabiner on the top so you can see these little these little carabiners here and they can just kind of go onto the top of your bottle little red carabiner um, and it's really awesome because i like it that you know these kids are now feeling super um supported with natural solutions in your home so when your child's like, my tummy hurts, you're like, go get your oils, go look at your card. So here's a little carabiner that I just put on there. Um, they can hook it onto their backpack. Um, it's just recommended if you do use these carabiners to super glue it on um, because you know it could just pull off and you don't want that to happen. So boop. So um, that little kid's kit is a lot of fun. And then your child can just have their little nature's medicine cabinet right there at the tip of their little hands with their uh, little cute little carabiners and their little card here um, in a little child's kit. So if you're interested in getting this, you guys, I can help you. And um, I love that, you know, our kids are going to be uh, armed with this. And let me show you too this little book that I have. This book is called the Advanced Oil Magic Book. And so if you do want to get started with essential oils, I'm going to give you this gift. This is such an awesome gift because you can literally look in here. It's a, it's a pretty big book, but you can look up different ailments that um, you or your family might have. It will tell you exactly how to use them. And what's really neat too is that you can um, look up your essential oil. Like maybe you want to look up something like lavender. You're like, well, I have lavender. What does lavender do? And what's so cool about this book is that you can see right here all of the things that lavender does. And um, so we want to just help empower you. So if you do want to get started with essential oils, I will make sure to get you that book so you can be super empowered in your own home. Um, now, we talked about essential oils, so I have to really quick dig into supplements because it's really important that our kids are getting proper nutrition. So um, safety tips, so children should never um, take adult supplements. Uh, I would recommend these amazing um, as, um, A to Z chewables. They are completely natural um, because um, our kids need nutrition too, right? So read labels and instructions. You can use essential oil supplements um, 
made specifically for children. So one of them is, um, oh, a couple of the things that I love are the probiotics for kids as well as are chewable vitamins. And kids just aren't getting proper nutrition there. And we aren't either, and they're mass producing our food. And so it's so important to make sure that your kids are getting really proper nutrition. So some of the things that I really love are the probiotics for kids. Uh, there's 30 uh, sachets. These are sweetened with xylitol, so they are very sweet. They actually taste like pixie sticks. You gotta leave them high up on a shelf. Um, and you wanna make sure that you're using natural probiotics that are actually working and getting down into our gut. And so these are triple encapsulated and they actually get all the way down into the intestines to put beneficial bacteria back in. So if your child has ever been on antibiotics um, or taken, uh, eaten food with artificial flavors, preservatives, um, all the things, you know, artificial colors, all the things, uh, there might have some toxins in their gut. And it's really, really important to heal the gut and heal the body from the inside out because a lot of those things can actually wreak havoc on our immune system. So we want to make sure that our kids are, are, are staying healthy right now more than ever before. So check out the probiotics. And then we have these great chewables. Uh, I love that they're naturally flavored and they have all of the proper nutrition for your kids. They can chew them up and um, a lot of whole food nutrition is inside of these vitamins. So be sure to check that out. And then we also have our, our omegas. Now, once you open this, you do need to refrigerate it. This is fish oil. And it has certified pure therapeutic grade wild orange essential oil in it. So it does taste like orange oil, uh, but it is fish oil. And um, this is fantastic for brain development, for gut health, for heart health. It's really important to get those really beneficial fats in our diet. So be sure to check out the omegas. If your child doesn't like to take this from a spoon, you can mix it in with yogurt or oatmeal or just put it inside their smoothie and they will never know and they'll be getting that really good heart health and brain health as well. So that's it. Happy, healthy kids. There's so much more we could talk about. I wanted to keep it under a half hour as to not overwhelm anyone. Uh, but if anyone has any questions, you can connect with me at my website, which is nataliecarson.com. If you're on Instagram, I'm at Natalie Carson Sings. So you can just look up Natalie Carson Sings and find me there. And uh, my doTERRA website is my doTERRA.com forward slash Natalie Carson. And if you want to search around, but really, um, you can find me here on Facebook. And what I like to tell people is just text me your top three health concerns. Um, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can email me at Natalie Carson oils at gmail.com. Uh, you can always just, you know, post below, but I'll put the link to my website, all the links here beneath this video. Uh, but my main, my main concern and, um, you know, my intention is to really inspire people to use safe, healthy, and natural solutions. So if you want to text me your top three health concerns, I can then lead you in the direction that you might need uh, to be able to go down that journey and make sure that your family's empowered this way and really make sure that you're using them safely and effectively. And remember, if you do get essential oils from me, uh, you get access to tons of education. Uh, you get me at your fingertips. Um, also, you're going to get the essential oil book uh, that will help continue your journey on using essential oils. And uh, you're going to be able to be part of our Facebook community with just tons of resources and education. We do giveaways. We do a continuing education series as well. So we're just here to help empower you, um, praying that your children are staying healthy during this time and that you are as well. Again, it's Natalie Carson. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me and I'm happy to help. All right. I hope you guys are having a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining. All right. Be well and God bless. Bye-bye.